Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to install third party packages on your local Node.js project. So first of all, why do you need to install third party packages on your project? Because the npm core module is not sufficient to do all the things that you want to do in your project. So you need to rely on the third party open source npm project and you can or you must have to make use of the npm project somewhere on your project to make the development easier and faster. For example, let's say you are going to create a project to read a data from an Excel file. So to do that, you have to build a development from the scratch. So you have to uh, write an API to get all the things done. So you no need to spend much time on writing that code. You can go ahead and make use of this npmjs.com and this npmjs.com is a remote repository that contains millions of Node.js package. You can do a simple search like Excel and you can see the lot of third party packages that is related to Excel. For example, if I open Excel JS, they have given what are the stuff that you can do with this npm package. For example, you can create a workbook. So with this single line of code, you can create a workbook instead of writing hundreds and thousands of code. And to add a new sheet, you can do so. So like that, they have given everything that you need to do on the Excel workbook. So which makes the thing much easier for you. And that's the purpose of using npm third party package. For example, Express is another popular third party package for web development and this is what we are going to see shortly in the upcoming videos and if you see here, it has a weekly download of around 9 million and the latest version is 4.17.1 MIT is an open source and it has an open issue of 118 and it has pull request and the repository github repository link and their documentation and their website link is this one the it was updated three months ago so how do you use this third party module on your local project that's the question that comes to your mind so for example let's say you're going to use this express you can use a command you can go to your project and use npm i followed by the project name that is express so if you want to install tall a specific version if you type this command and click enter it will go and install the latest version of this npm so if you go to the version tab you can see all the versions here let's say i'm going to install 4.17.0 so to install any particular version you can use at symbol followed by the version name it's 4.17.0 zero and then you can specify why you are using this npm package is it for production or is it just for development if this is for production you can specify this and click on enter or if this is for development you have to specify that using hyphen hyphen save command followed by hyphen dev so we have to click on enter to install this express with this version on your local project. So once that is done, you can verify that by going to package.json and inside the package.json, you can see that it this express is added to the dev dependency and also new folder called node modules got created and it contain the source code of this express. Let's say you're going to work on Excel JS npm file as well. To do that, npm i excel js and click on enter. So it will go and fetch the excel js package from the remote repository and import it into a local. And once that is done, you can see that it add excel js to a dependencies, not as a dev dependencies, because we want this excel js for production and not for development. So this is how you need to install third party packages on your local project. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.